So there were a lot of schools across this country that needed upgrading. There's a lot of communities in this country that needed new schools. What better way to spend part of your $6.3 billion than that? Put a lot of people to work across the country either repairing schools or building new ones. The second area in which jobs were created were sewage plants. There were about 5,000 communities across the United States that were in need of new sewage plants. You know, a place to take the sewage from communities that needed to be upgraded. You think that stuff just disappears in midair? There's a process every time you flush your toilet or you put down your garbage disposal, that goes into a sewer that is taken somewhere that's bacterially destroyed so you don't have a problem. There were about 5,000 communities in the United States that had outdated uh, sewer systems and sewer plants. They built 5,000 new ones with this $6.3 billion and put a lot of people to work. And the country was getting bigger. What we need for transportation when your country is getting bigger? Roads. Approximately 128,000 miles of secondary roads were being constructed or improved. What's two examples of secondary roads right out of Warland? Highway US 20, that's going to be a more of a bigger one, but like Lower River Road, South Flat Road, those are, what's that, West River Road, they're all secondary roads that we didn't have. You kind of had one road in and one road out of town. And people start building communities and they needed these secondary roads built. And so the, the Roosevelt administration through the Works Progress Administration, Harry L. Hopkins, built approximately 128,000 miles of secondary roads that they either repaired or made new. Now I'll give you an idea, we had 14 million people unemployed. By March of 1936, 4 million Americans were working just for the WPA, the Works Progress Administration. So they gave jobs to 4 million people, building and repairing schools putting in new sewage plants and sewer systems in communities, and building or repairing <coughs> secondary roads. Four million people went to work. We're going to work on that. Because there's Now, a lot of the people that were unemployed at this time were young Americans. Young Americans. And I don't know if you understand this or not, you don't, we don't even get this. Many people your age, boys, had to leave high school and college was only a dream because they didn't have the money to stay in school. They had to go work to help their families or do something for money. So there were a lot of young men who didn't go to high school or college, which just contributed to the unemployment problem. So the Roosevelt administration established another group called the Civilian Conservation Corps. You may have heard of them. CCC. And what this particular group did is it hired unemployed single men between the ages of 18 and 25. To work for the CCC, you had to be a single man between the ages of 18 and 25. Now at one time, there was nearly a million young men that were enrolled in the CCC. And guess how much money they made a month back then? Pretty close, $30 a month, about $556 today. $25 of that 30, or 463 out of a present day 556, was sent directly back home to the be saved. They had nothing to do in these jobs, right? No place to spend their money. So they made $30 a month, and 25 of that was sent back home to be saved, to get them out of financial trouble. So in comparison, they were paid $556 a month in today's money, with 463 of that sent home. Now here's, I'm gonna quit on this. Here's eight examples of the types of work 
that the CCC did. And there's an example not too far from here, actually. What? Well, not specifically. Okay, over three billion trees were planted across this country by the CCC. Over three billion trees. <coughs> What do we have over by uh, uh, Matizia? People like to go do in the winter and summer. Yeah. Reservoirs. How about Sunshine Reservoir? Pretty good fishing. Digging of reservoirs all across this country. Many of these reservoirs that you may go recreation on or fish on were built by the CCC. Building of bridges. Many bridges in this country were built by the CCC. Do we build things like fire trails in this country in the mountains? What are fire trails? Overlooked. Yeah. They were built by the CCC. You got one right up past Metal Arc, kind of up on top of the hill up there on the right. That was built by the CCC. I bet money on it. Now we don't have them here, but there were a lot of swamp lands that needed to be cleared across this country. The CCC did that in southern states like Florida. So swamp lands were cleared. So we got planting of over three billion trees, the digging of reservoirs, the building of bridges, the building of fire trails, the clearing of swamps. Somebody mentioned the building of dams. Dams were built, man-made dams by the CCC. You ever go into a city and go have a little lunch with your family in the city park? Those didn't just metamorphosize out of nothing. Nearly 800 new parks in this country were established in cities by the CCC. So clearing land for parks. And as Branson said, all the roads and all the campsites that you have in the Yellowstone National Park, every single one of them was built by the CCC. Every one. Now, if you go up by Metal Ark, that restaurant, it's kind of that restaurant, Metal Ark restaurant up there before you get the ski hill, there's a turnoff and there's a, there's a memorial plaque that talks about Metal Ark Lake. Find out who helped build Metal Ark Lake. CCC is right on the plaque. So if you ever get upset at some time, go past, you know, towards Metal Ark Ski Rink, pull over, you'll see that kind of a rock put together a monument and read the placard. It'll tell you that the CCC did that work. So it was a great program and it got a lot of people to work. Okay, we'll talk about another program tomorrow called the National Youth Administration that concentrated on youth in America and the solving of unemployment. Nice job today. I'll go get your popsicles. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. 
You might want to listen to this phone call. Hey, will you announce throughout the rest of the day <clears throat> that I have received all the ACT scores for juniors and if the kids want to know what they got, they can come see me after school. Okay. There's the news. Dun, dun, dun. All right, now listen up. My mother taught me in the old days, and I've always had this philosophy of girls are first. So we will go. Oh, stay seated because we're doing this. We're doing this. We're doing this baseball style. Anybody want a pink, pink one? Okay, that'd be a little capture. Sorry. This is I'm guessing it's cherry girls. Any girls with cherry? What do you want? Well, we don't have any girls. Yellow. Uh, yellow too. How about you back there, Cassie? We have green, orange, red, white. Uh, yellow, red, pink. This Macintosh will be white. white. Okay. This Herrera. Cherry. Oh, nice catch. This is Montoya. Okay. Well, we got all the girls taken care of. Okay. What do you want? What is it? Is it coconut? No, it's corn on that side. What do you want? What would you like? How about you, man? Okay. Andrew? Andrew? Oh, I miss Nayeli. Nayeli, I'm going to give you two for that. What do you want? Or if you want another one, let me know. How about you? White. What about it? Red? <laughs> Dylan? Green. Oh! Marcus? Green. Hey, what's up, bro? <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yeah. Logan? Logan? Green. Green, you guys like green. Okay. Um, Brody? Not going to. Wrestling's not even on. Anthony? No? Anybody else? I miss. Cody? Uh, yellow. yellow? You got it. Okay. Um, Nyla, you want a pink one too? <laughs> no? All right. Um, Mr. Ray, would you take these back to the guidance office, please, and stick them in the freezer up top? Okay. Everybody got one? Matt, did you get one? We got a speak up girl. What do you want? Oh, pink? Let's get back to that. Here you go, dear. I did not get one. So good. Everybody have one. You two knock it off. Everybody have one. There wants one. Going once. Okay. You're welcome. It's so good. You want one more? Actually, I kind of like these are better than ice cream. They're better on your stomach. I actually am really glad that you chose popsicles because I'm allergic to ice cream. I, I like popsicles better. These are pina colada. You didn't even open it. 